Hey guys, one more motherboard for unboxing. This time it's ASRock X370M HDD. It's AMD Ryzen 3000 ready. So if you buy one of these, you can directly put a Ryzen 3000 CPU. Well, on some of the AM4 motherboards, you have to actually first update the BIOS. In this case, it's uh, ready, so you don't have, you don't need an older processor to update the BIOS. So let's take a look inside. We have the usual bunch of SATA cables, the backplate, and the M2 screw, CD and leaflet or something, and here is the motherboard itself. Nothing else in the box, so we'll just uh, take it out. So let's see. Here is the motherboard itself. It says it has two slots for DDR4 up to 3200 memory. It has, let's see, one, two, three, four SATA ports, maybe, most likely four SATA ports. It has one X16 PCI Express port right here and one X1 port. Here is the place for your M2 or PCI SATA or, SATA or PCI Express SSD. The interesting part, uh, I haven't seen this in a while, just a 4-pin processor socket. Usually I see 8 pins instead of 4. Here is the 24-pin socket for the motherboard itself. Let's see the backplate. The usual audio. I'll just... Uh, okay. Okay. So the usual audio. We have one, two, three, four USB 3 ports and a couple of USB 2 ports where you actually usually put your mouse and keyboard. We have DVI, DSUP or VGA and HDMI video ports which is right almost everything except display port. The usual network and the usual no longer used port for keyboard and or mouse. This is guys just a, quite a cheap motherboard if you ask me. But it's good, it's good enough for uh, just a decent um, machine, decent PC. As you can see it already has a backplate pre-installed, which you can actually remove if you need uh, some other kind of cooler. So you remove this, this, and the backplate falls off and you can install any bigger cooler if you need one of course. So that's about it guys, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day!